Right now we're in front of Readout 6 at Blakely. Um, Blakely, a lot of people uh, get confused about when they hear the term Fort Blakely. They, they think of it as one single fortification. Actually, Fort Blakely was a three mile long series of interconnected earthen fortifications. Both ends in a broad arc were anchored on the Tensaw River on the north and the south. And along that three mile long line, there were a series of nine readouts, which were the, basically the more heavily fortified positions where you could mass artillery and troops. And right behind me is readout six. And stretching out this way, you see a part of, that, part of the interconnecting uh, Confederate line. So this was an interconnected line. The Confederates had begun construction of Fort Blakely in the fall of 1864, a lot, used a lot of slave labor. Hundreds of slaves were brought over from the defenses, laboring in the defenses of Mobile to help do this. They were building these fortifications, and at the same time, they were clearing fields of fire in front of the fortifications for several hundred yards. So that's Fort Blakely in a nutshell, a three mile long series of interconnected fortifications, eventually had about 3,500 troops in it by the time of the battle in April of 1865.